So this is part two, um, personal power, mindset, energy, and money, business, all the things. So this is part two, the video cut off where I was talking about a growth mindset and a fixed mindset. So if you're just catching this video, there is a part one that will kind of catch you up to where we are now. Um, let me do a quick introduction. So I'm Tanya Wilson. I'm a master life and business coach, and I help women step into their personal power, which is one of the main things that we're going to be talking about on today, uh, scale their businesses to six and multiple six figures and create a lifestyle they love. So we work on building businesses from the inside out, not the outside in. So our business isn't based on external factors. It's based on who we are as a brand, our values, and the bulk of what's going on in your business is being generated from you and specifically from your mindset. So this thing right here has a lot to do with your money and everything else that you set out to do. And I wanted to talk about it on today. I briefly um, had a chance in the previous video to talk about the difference in a growth mindset and a fixed mindset. But I also wanted to incorporate some spiritual growth stages that I've taught on um, for some years now. I haven't talked about it as much on this particular page, but on my other page I have. But I really felt like um, bringing that into our conversation on today, some inner work and healing, because I understand that these particular stages impact how we build our business and how we do our life. And so I'm not sure if I talked about uh, this first stage, which is the standard cis stage. But in this stage, most oftentimes a person sees themselves as a victim. Now, every stage that I'm going to talk to you about, I have either walked through, I'm either toggling in um, at this current time, um, but I definitely have been at each of these spaces. And at this first level of spiritual growth, where we're talking about the standard cis, this is mostly where a person sees themselves as a victim. Now, for me, that was during my marriage. Um, there was a lot going on, and I just felt like if he would do this, then I could do that. And if you're not careful, when you take on that mindset, you really lose your personal power. So you feel like everything is being dictated outside of you by someone else making a move or a decision or something of that nature, and you, you really lose a lot of who you are um, when you're operating in that particular realm or that particular spiritual growth stage. And what this also looks like, not only in relationships, but as it impacts your life and your business, is oftentimes you see even simple things as really hard, right? Like you, in your mind, it's made everything dip difficult, the simplest things. And so you, you likely, in this stage, we'll call it quits really easily. You will feel like you can't get it. It's just too hard. You're really tapped into that fixed mindset that I explained in the first video where with a fixed mindset, it's, it's as if, um, if I don't already know this, it's not possible for me to learn it. Um, this also normally keeps people in a very complacent and stagnant place as it relates to their business. Because guys, there are going to be some challenging things that come up in your business. And if your mindset is already telling you that I don't know how to do this, so it's not possible for me, then how do you evolve? How do you get to this next space of evolution? That next space of evolution is always something outside of who you currently are. It's outside of things that you currently know. And so there has to be a growth mindset, which is that mindset that says, even though I don't know how to do it, I'm confident enough that I can learn. Um, that growth mindset steps into new realms of possibility. It is the space of possibility. But whenever you your mindset is in that victim mode and it's everyone else's fault, you lose your personal power. So no, you don't feel like it's capable. you're capable or it's possible. Um, I believe a lot of it is generated from the news and media. When those things are transpiring, if it's economy or if I don't watch the news, I'm not bothered by the next president or I don't even let the economy um, keep me from reaching my goals because I understand at the end of the day, it is my power. It is my God power 
the God that's within me that gives me the ability to grow into a thing. Now, when I say grow into a thing, I have had several instances in my life where I will jump. Yeah, I just jump. And then I figure out how to calibrate to it afterwards. I actually choose circumstances at times that challenge me because I understand if I'm not challenged, it's so easy to become complacent. It's so easy to become stuck and you know not get to the next level. And so if you don't have something that's challenging you, if it's always something you already know how to do, you're well prepared for, it requires no growth. It doesn't even require a measure of faith if it's something you already know how to do, if it's something you already know, oh, I already have everything I need for this. That's a great place to be in, but it's different if you're wanting to grow. And so only a few people, honestly, will, you know, get to, well, I'm going to talk about that in a minute. The next stage after this standard cis stage is what I call the self-aware cis stage. Now in this stage, you recognize all of the things that you were doing on the last stage. Because in the last stage, you probably weren't aware. You didn't know you were acting that way or being that way. You didn't know you were responding to life that way. You didn't know that's why life was responding to you that way. Or even things in your business because there is a lack of awareness at that particular stage. Now, I've talked about different levels of consciousness which ties into this on several occasions over the years. And this would be that first level of consciousness where it's called unconscious consciousness. So you don't even know that this is how you're behaving, showing up or having your being. In the second stage, you're aware. You're like, okay, I was complaining a lot. I made everything a lot more difficult than it had to be. And, and it's coming somewhere, someone probably dropped the ball, right? And there's a sense of um, uncertainty. Like, I don't know how to do this. Um, this is so difficult and it's really, you know, just remaining in a victim mindset. I choose to operate from a space of victor, whether I've been victimized or not, right? Because it allows me to have um, leverage and control in my life and not depend on every external factor or not have to change my goals or my plans every time something outside of me transpires. Do you all see how this can become a place of stagnation and a place of being stuck if we're allowing every external factor to play a role or actually have the power to whether or not we achieve our goals and our, our destiny and our vision? And so I just personally choose to remain a victor. You know, even if I'm being victimized, I may be aware that that is transpiring, but I don't allow it to keep me from operating in my own power and my own gifts. Um, it helps when you're stepping into something that you don't have all the answers to or all the money for, <laughs> right? Most of the time your vision is a lot bigger than where you currently are anyway. And the journey is the progressive journey of you growing and calibrating into the person who can actually operate at that level. And oftentimes while we're on this journey, life will present opportunities to us for us to jump in and quantum leap to greater spaces in our life and our business. But if our mindset, right, if we're operating from a space of victim mentality or even the fixed mindset, then we'll see this new opportunity as something that's impossible for us or something we can't do because maybe we don't know how at the current time and never do it. So what I call this is the, the action where people pass over opportunities regularly. Now, if you look at all each letter to those words, pass over opportunities regularly. And this happens oftentimes based on a person's mindset. Now, it also can happen if you do not trust yourself. You, you guys hear me say all the time, this next level requires a new level of faith and a new level of trust. If it's something you already know how to do, if it's something you have all the answers, all the resources, all of that for, you don't need faith for that. You don't need faith. And most of the time, the things you don't need faith for, for are things you already know, which will yield you the same results. So this standard cis stage is actually a stage where a lot of the clients who come to me are at. 
when they come to me at this self-aware stage. Now, for those who may be in the standard cis stage where they're still seeing themselves as a victim, I'm not sure if I talked about this on the first broadcast, but oftentimes therapy would be the best option as opposed to coaching and consulting at a certain point. Now, although I did not have therapy when I moved from that particular growth stage to the next, and I think a lot of a large part of it was I am also a life coach, so I'm able to coach myself. And I did a lot of extensive study um, as it relates to God, right? The word of God. And so those things really helped me. But for most people just in everyday life, counseling, a counselor or therapist will work really good when you're wanting to come out of that particular stage if you aren't able to. Um, coach yourself or either be in a coaching program where you actually can see that you've made some changes because that first stage it can be very difficult for people because number one they're looking for things to be wrong so even if there are strategies and opportunities they you can't really see it right remember that's also a space of unconscious consciousness so not only are you not conscious about what you're doing but it's difficult to see things more clearly I talked about what well, did this this was actually on a reel where I talked about how important peace was to your prosperity and in this first stage there isn't a lot of peace right um, it's, it's hard to have peace when everything in your life in your mind is being dictated by external factors because there's so many external factors so there's a space where clarity is important where you to get clear on what it is that you need um, your, for your next move, that clarity gives you a level of peace and you need peace to prosper. When you even look up the definition of prosperity, a part of it is your peace. A part of prosperity is your peace. So being clear is, is huge. And many people, when they move to that next um, spiritual growth stage of self-awareness, there is a level of clarity that has come for them. Um, but the where the rubber meets the road is people stay in the self-aware stage a long time as well and it's in that stage where now that we're aware and we've kind of we may have gotten our credit right we've got our hustle on we, we're grinding you know we're really operating a lot in our masculine energy when we're in that space it's also difficult to let go and going to this third growth stage, which is spiritual growth stage, because you guys have heard me talk about the three stages of business growth, that's different from these spiritual growth stages. So that was with the 3D brand masterclass. This is different. It's a, a different concept, although there is some alignment. Norm, this is about who you're being probably at each of those stages, if that makes sense. So there's the growth stages, and then that's who you're being, right? And more than likely those line up. But for now, we're talking about who you're being oh that's your personal power right so the the next stage is I call it the manifesting princess stage because things begin to flow and come easier but it's because you've tapped into a new level of trust there's another level of confidence and some of that confidence was built at that self-aware cis stage now very few people ever come out of the self-aware cis stage when we look in our world space Probably 90% of women, especially, and men, but I'm talking to women here, will never leave the this, this self-aware cis stage. They will always be somewhat controlling. They will hustle hard. They'll do things the harder way. Sometimes you go into isolation because you're aware that you're doing these things, but you haven't quite grasped how to not do those things. When you tap into this third stage, you're not only are you aware but you're able to shift and change your energy and you're operating your life from such a space and such a level of trust that there is flow and ease to what you're doing. Um, the, the growth stages that you're in or we're in as people, it also impacts how we invest. So imagine someone who is in the standard cis stage, that first growth stage, the chances are very unlikely that they will invest at a high level on themselves. They may do a lot of smaller things, um, but it's, it's so unlikely because they really don't feel they have the power anyway. They haven't tapped into the fact that um, greater is he that's in them than he that's in the world anyway, and that they actually have their own personal power. 
Now in the standard CIS stage, sometimes it's difficult for them to invest in help in their business or in their life because they've gotten so accustomed and so independent of doing it themselves. There's a lot of DIY at this particular stage because again, remember, this person has come from moving from feeling like a victim to a more empowering place where they're doing things on their own, right? And they've created these habits and things that they do that they don't want to give that control up, not even for what access to what's at the next level. And so many people will toggle once they've reached that self-aware sixth stage, they may tap into that third stage from time to time, but being able to rest there. That's what I help um, my clients to do. And I really wanted to talk about this because guys, this thing right here, your mind, it has a lot to do with your money and everything else that you set out to do. And I just wanted to, to highlight some things that you can possibly think about if you're wondering like, why haven't I transitioned? What are these, it feels like something's blocking me from this space. Um, most oftentimes it's where you are in those spiritual growth stages and also what stage you are in your business building process. So mindset is everything, it's everything to your business. It's a central core piece. Um, mindset, mentorship, energy, money, all of these things I talk about inside 3D Success Academy. It's the reason why it's a year-long opportunity. Um, I mentor you for a year through our um, monthly live coaching sessions. So you get a different module every month on different topics, leadership, um, relationships like community partnerships um, and relationships, uh, branding, one-on-one, marketing, you figure out your niche, your ideal people. And what I really, really love is the very first part of the academy where you get super clear on your vision. Remember, I say clarity is a part of prosperity, right? Because when you're clear, think about it. When your head is clear, you are at peace. There's another level of peace and you need peace in order to prosper. Now, I'm not saying that you can't reach certain levels of, you know, higher realms of money and your goals and things like that, but sustaining it, maintaining it is where the difference is. If you haven't worked on that money mindset, the abundant mindset, you know, done that inner works, maintaining and sustaining is where the issue will come. So it's not that you can't hit those 10 and 20 K months, multiple six figures, but staying there will be out of alignment with who you are on the inside. You can't out hustle your true frequency, your life frequency. That's how you're being on the inside. You can't out hustle it. You can't out speak it. It has to be alignment, right? And so the academy, I call it the ultimate growth track because not only are we working on your business, we're doing it from the inside out. My um, get your money, get your life, uh, budget basic, budgeting basics and financial freedom courses in there where I walk you through how I became debt free. Um, it's just a, a super amazing opportunity for those who want to really grow their business, who want to create stronger foundations and systems in their business, and for those who wanna get their whole life. You know, they don't want just, okay, my business is doing well, but this part sucks, right? And so it's the ultimate growth track for women. Um, there's a completely separate portal on nothing but mindset. So you can listen to the mindset trainings podcast style while you're working out, cooking around the home, um, riding your bike, you know, riding my bike. Uh, so that's just a huge bonus to the academy. Um, there's also a bonus for those of you who pay in full, you get lifetime access. So what does that mean? So one of the things I do is when I have master classes like my her master class, which is on feminine energy, it's uploaded into the academy. So I'm always uploading and updating information in the academy. For instance, I remember adding on, because for marketing, and I have several marketing tactics that aren't even on social media. For those of you who feel like it's all gotta be on social media, it doesn't. So I teach some of those strategies there, but I also teach you know some social media strategies, um, live streaming, video, things of that nature. But in addition to um, those different strategies, email marketing, right? 
And so there's several different things and I believe in simplification. So it doesn't mean that everything in there you're going to do, but you're going to understand who you are as a brand so much and what your values are. We go over your values, your vision, your mission for your company as well, that you'll know which activities in the academy are in alignment for you. And then you also have my voice of reasoning at the end of every month, you get to ask questions about um, the modules that you implemented the weeks prior to um, the coaching and consulting. But listen, your mind, this thing right here, has a lot to do with your money and everything else that you set out to do. It's a huge, huge dynamic of it. I talk about abundance mindset, personal growth, and business building. I believe when you tap into all three of those, then you tap into a new realm of possibility. It's the reason why you know, I spend the bulk of my time helping you in those areas because I understand that if that mindset piece is off, it taps into every single thing else. It causes stagnation, procrastination, doubt, um, all the things, right? And it also causes abundance. It causes prosperity. It ca causes you to tap into new levels. It causes you to three to five X. It's the mindset. So that's my take. It was on my mind and on my heart. Um, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. If you have questions, let me know. I'll put the link in the comment for you to join us inside the Academy. I cannot wait to work with you. Um, you get immediate access to the Academy. You can start. It's also self-paced. So the modules, once they're released each month, you do the work at your own pace. But at the end of the month, you get to ask me questions as you're implementing. We've had so many amazing results from the Academy. Um, people have come in for one thing and left for something else. I've had someone who came in as a couture dress designer who ended up becoming a realtor, a successful realtor within one year. Um, we've had a business owner to increase their um, business income by 30% in three weeks. I've had, um, I've had two people that were in corporate America one was already in the beauty industry when she came to me, but she was still treating it like a hobby. So we turned it into a full-on business. She's now a wellness coach and some other things. But I also had someone who was completely in corporate America who came and took 3D success. And they then they went to uh, get their cosmetology license and they never missed a beat, right? They were... They kind of skipped the seed stage because they had their concept, they had their perfect people, and they had their niche. And they've been in business over five years now doing absolutely amazing. Um, we've had so much transformation. I've had people come in, write books, start their speaking and coaching. Um, it just depends on where you are. So I'm not teaching you how to build your coaching practice necessarily in this academy. I have the exceptional coach mastermind that I do that in. But for those who are coaches who, you know, come in and they're like, my branding is off. When they get clear on that, they get clear on marketing. It just takes their coaching to a new level. And then I definitely work with those of you who own brick and mortar service-based business. So that's who this is for. Um, I wanted to come on and, and talk about mindset and just remind you of, how important it is. It's not something to overlook and it's so sneaky, right? Because of that subconscious um, programming, we may not even know that we're operating this way and this is the thing that's actually holding us up. But listen, guys, one thing that is not happening and that's time is not stopping, it's not waiting on anyone. It's gonna do what it does, right? Whether we um, take the opportunities we have or not, time will continue to do what it does and tomorrow will always be tomorrow tomorrow will always be tomorrow think about it when tomorrow gets here it will be today and so tomorrow will be the next day. tomorrow will always be tomorrow and there's a space where we just decide i'm ready for my next level if that's you um, be sure to join us inside 3d success academy or if you're considering me supporting you in some other way you can direct message me and I can tell you which opportunities would be most aligned for where you are in your business, in your brand building process, and in your life. That's my take. Have a good one.